Hey guys, we live Jeep here. Um, I figured I'd make a kind of a random video today. I seen a, I got a uh, an old Ford 400 over here, and one of the pistons is stuck. I've tried everything I can to try and get that thing out, but it just it's not coming out. I got I already got all the other ones removed, but that one I could not get out. The one on the fire. So, um, I found a couple videos on YouTube of people they pour gasoline, put a little bit of gasoline, a little bit of um automatic transmission fluid just enough so that it takes up about maybe an inch inch and a half of the cylinder above the piston and then you throw like a rag in there or strips of a rag and then you light it on fire and the, the transmission fluid will keep it from kind of blowing up in your face the gasoline so you put a little bit of both in there an equal amount and you light it on fire and you just let it burn out eventually now there are plenty of videos of this on YouTube but nobody actually shows the piston being removed after they put it on fire they just put it on fire and they'll be like Alright guys, well once this burns out, you just knock the piston out. So I wanted to actually see if this actually works. So I figured I'd go, go, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video for you guys. And I'll show you the outcome to see whether or not this really works. Now to give you a little background on what I've tried so far to get this piston out was I... I eventually stopped with a steel pipe with caps on both ends. This is a pretty hefty steel pipe. I've used a sledgehammer, beating out as hard as I can from the inside, the piston would not budge at all. And I even went and started using this one. This is a solid steel, this is like 40 pound sledgehammer or something, 30 pounds. I mean I don't do a overhead swing on it, I'm just giving it kind of hefty taps with it. And that doesn't even get it out, so we'll see if this little trick with the gasoline, the transmission fluid, and the rag, see if it really works. It's been burning for about 20 minutes now, and it hasn't gone down much. I'm going to say it's probably going to burn for another hour, and then we'll go from there, and we'll see if we can get it out. Alright guys, it's been about another 30 minutes, and it's almost there. It looks like it's just the rag burning now. There's a little bit on the bottom, but not much. Alright, we'll, we'll wait another couple minutes, probably another 10, 20 minutes, and it should be done. Alright guys, I think it's done. It looks like it's just a rag burning now, it's just a black rag in there. So I'm going to pull the rag out, throw it on the floor, let it finish burning there. If I can get it over there, it just kind of disintegrates. You can see it's all gone now. There's a little bit in the corner right there. But that's basically all that's left. Alright, so let's turn it over see if it'll come out. Alright, we've got our hammer. So we're going to use this regular slouch hammer. And that pole again. Our set screw back there. Alright, there's our cylinder right there. You can see where I've been banging it on the sides. So let's see if it comes out. It doesn't seem to be coming out. We try the big shot hammer and I'll come back with the camera and let you know if that works. Alright, well the shot hammer doesn't seem to be working either. So um, I'm gonna say this little trick does not work. I'll show you a video of me hitting with shot hammer so you can get an idea of how hard I'm hitting. But I don't think it's working.
Wait, I think it's moving. Yep, it's coming out. But, as you can see, it's moved a good two inches. See, the piston rod's getting in the way now, so I'm going to move that over, and I'll continue going. That should come out. Well, there it is. That trick does indeed work, guys. Man, this thing, I cannot tell you, I probably had six hours trying to get this piston out. And... I finally decided to use that fire trick. And the first couple hits with that small hammer and this big hammer didn't work. And keep hitting it, and then it makes a different noise when it starts moving. I think it's hot. It's a little warm. You can see all the, how seized up those piston rings are and the corrosion on that piston. This motor looked like I hit, it had been sitting in the, in the rain. If you look at the whole top end, it looks like someone take the um, Valve covers off and everything, and water just pouring inside, sitting outside for a lot while. Now, you can, all of these pistons were stuck, but one of them. But this one was giving us a pain in the butt. Here's the other ones. These ones came out easier. This is the easy one that came out. You see, it's still free. But these are all locked up. This one was the, the second hardest one. Yeah. You can see how rusty these heads are. This is before I vacuumed them. They're full of rust and whatnot. So there you go. The I think it's called the MKA approved way of removing a stuck piston works. Just pour them, um, get a little rag, tear it in half, like a little hand rag. Those red ones will work. Tear it in half in the strips. Just throw it in the cylinder. Pour it until it's about an inch and a half above the cylinder. Half of half gas, half transmission fluid, automatic transmission fluid, and then just light it up and let it burn, and um, that'll get it out. Thanks for watching.